Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. How you doing, bud? Doing well. Who am I talking to? Uh, good. Uh, so far, so good. I'm surprised I got through, to be honest with you. Um, listen, I had a curious question for you. Sure. Uh, all, over the years, as you know, you collect your favorite links uh, in Internet Explorer or have it be Mozilla Firefox or, um, you know, whatever uh, browser you plan on using. That's, that's fine. Well, after... And, you know, you uninstall Vista or you, you go to Leopard and you carry your favorite places with you from computer to computer. And basically uh, what I'm trying to get at is after a couple of years, you end up with hundreds of favorites. Now, I was wondering if there was a program that would allow you to verify that all the links, because, you know, some websites end up going down, some end up staying up, you know, and... I was wondering if there was a program that would uh, allow you to basically verify that all your links are still good because there's some old web pages I've gone through and they just turn out to be dead links and then, you know, they, they're basically, yeah, I just want an easy way to sort through all my favorites, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you uh, on, are you on Windows? I uh, yeah, Windows uh, XP. Okay. Um... I, at first, I was thinking Favorg, which was a classic utility, uh, yeah. but I don't think it was uh, any uh, update anymore. Then I remembered AM Deadlink. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. just, yeah, that's what I was trying to spit out, basically. There you go. Uh, That'll you know, do it for just, you. It'll organize or help you organize and check. You know? Yeah, it'll check IE, Firefox, Opera, Mozilla, well, at least at the time that this was last built. Um, URLs even from uh, files like uh, CSVs or tab delimited, like if you've exported them at some point in the past. Uh, pretty clean interface, and it's it's free, so you know you, you really can't expect much. I don't know of any Mac equivalent, but yeah, yeah. I really you know to tell you the truth, I used to save a lot of sites, but then I got tired of catching up with them and trying to keep up with them. Ultimately, as soon as I really started to use Google a lot more. I yeah. use Google for my book. Like, for instance, I, I it's not necessarily just my memory. It was knowing how to get to what it was that I was looking for on Google. So if I would have stored that bookmark for AM Deadlink in my bookmarks, favorites, etc., um, not only would I have to worry about keeping it, you know, maintained for, for uh, you know, link verification and validity, uh, but yeah. everything that comes with it. I... I don't keep many social bookmarks, and I certainly don't keep really a, a, a lot of bookmarks, unless yeah, they're specific yeah. for specific sites uh, or specific login URLs uh, that I need to keep track of. And those are, you know, again, very private. I just I kind of rely on Google, not Google's Notepad or anything like that, but just you know, I just it's it's out there. And if Google doesn't have it, well, then as far as I'm concerned, it it, it doesn't exist. Yeah, that's the way I. That's the I way mean, I figure. You, you know, know, if it ain't on Google, it's uh, no way to be found. You know, so um, yeah, that's that's cool. I just that's not a bad idea. You know, those those programs are great, and I'll have to look them up. I just you know, uh, most of mine are reference websites. You know, for cars or computers sure. or etc. But uh, you know, after the years, I mean. Damn, I, I probably got, you know, 100, 200, you know, a couple hundred links, and after a while, I mean, it takes you a couple of days to go through them all and verify them all, so I figured maybe well, there was an easy program that would just do it all one click action, sure. you know. Well, and that, th this would be it for, for, for Windows, and you then know, it looks so. like Dave G 65 recommended one for the Mac, um, you know, ultimately, and I'm sure there's, you know, programs for Linux as well. Ultimately, um, you do, how many computers do you usually, you know, use? to get on the internet. Uh, currently, I have two right okay. now. One's uh, running Vista. I know. Don't kill me. I'm not, dude, one I, got, run, you know, I got no problems with anybody running XP Vista now. And Vista, dual boot. More know. power to you. Yeah. The world needs more of you. In fact, the world has enough of you, I think. <laughs> um, well, and the reason why I ask is because you might think about using, you know, 
uh, again, a, a remote service, a, a web-hosted service, so that you could keep those bookmarks synchronized from one point in, in, in another. I know Maxton had that. That was the browser I used on Windows. And then, of course, .Mac has got a bookmark synchronization tool. Uh, and I think that even is on local areas with Macs, you could even use the uh, Bonjour to broadcast uh, bookmarks and address books and whatnot. Very, very home network friendly uh, OS X, much more than uh, Windows. By far. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. But people are recommending delicious. Like I said, you know, Google will help you keep track of a lot of that stuff. You know, over time, you know, it becomes very, very useful, especially when you're able to analyze, you know, what what it is you're keeping track of. Another recommendation might be to create. Uh, go over to grazer.com, G R A Z R, grazer.com, and you can build your own lists for free. And they're organized, and you can go and rearrange them. And the nice thing is they're built in OPML. So they're built oh, okay. inside a data structure that can be transported from one point to another. It's a nice That's way of organizing right. it, getting to it remotely, and sharing it as a widget even. So if you took all the, the research that you've done on uh, you know, these various items, you could have a, a, a widget on your blog or website that has them all organized so you can share them with somebody else. Oh, okay. It's kind so of a, basically, you know, they're almost stored on the internet in a way. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it's, a, they're just they're, done on your home computer. Right. They're just links. That's all they are. It's how you choose to organize them, where you choose to organize them. But my recommendation for you: get off the desktop with these things. If you've got more than one machine, uh, yeah. you you you've, you've got to start thinking: how can I make it easier? Because then, otherwise, you're just fighting these battles. I mean, it's the same issue with email. Same issue with bookmarks, same issue with, well, to a certain degree, photos. And with all your data, if you don't, if, if, the, if the tool doesn't exist on the desktop to synchronize, uh, or if it doesn't work easily enough for you, then, you know, you're not doing yourself a favor by not looking into it if you have more than one machine. And I'm telling you, I think the average, especially for geeks like you and me, well, I certainly have more than one machine around here. Uh, yeah, yeah. In fact, oh, I've, yeah. I've got to get rid of a couple of them, to tell you the truth. Uh, no matter, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know that's uh, I, I just just a recommendation, just a suggestion. Trying to make your life easier, but you know until then, if you just want to uh, cut through some of the uh, the junk that may be cluttering up your bookmarks, uh, try AM Dead Link for Windows. Yeah, that's that's excellent, excellent recommendation. Yeah, it's just you know after a while, the same thing with everything, you know, links and shortcuts and programs, and after a while, it's just like God, enough's enough, you know. That's for sure. You know, like you said, more than one machine equals uh, a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, it can be. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it can be. That's right. That's the key word. It can be. You know, and uh, with your recommendation, you know, and looking it up on Google and stuff, it'll uh, it'll be a lot easier. You know, and if it works I, I, for you, if it works. I mean, ultimately, yeah, I can only make a recommendation if it if it works for you, it does. If not, you know, don't feel beholden to any advice. It's got to work for you and, and with you and feel like it's, wow, this is better than the way I have been doing it versus this is different and I don't like it. Uh, you have to look at, you know, th there, there are parts that I have to think, y you know what you want to accomplish. You may have to go about it a different way, but in the end, is this better? Is it overwhelmingly better? In, in, the, in the greater scheme of things, is it better? And, and then you have to, because yeah. yeah, sometimes doing this changeover, uh, you know, when you've been used to doing it one way, it can be a, it can be very challenging, extremely challenging, even for geeks. I mean, especially you know, we got our mindset on this is the way to do it, no other way. <laughs> yeah, so, exactly. But and good luck with that. I find that's that's the hardest part with people is you, you ultimately achieve your new goal, but you know, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah, you know, it's so hard. It's it very hard. For, you know, us geeks, it's just like okay, well. We do it the same way every day, and then to throw a wrench in the works, it's just, it creates big confusion for a lot of people, so, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's just ultimately achieving your goal of getting where you want to go, but then, you know, if you change the whole process, it really, it really screws a lot of people up, you know, and, uh, you know, but like you said, as long as you're achieving that ultimate goal, and as long as, um, you know, as long, as long as you're doing what you're ultimately set out to do, then you'll be all right. But it's just just a matter of changing that whole process, you know, and getting accustomed yep. to the new process is the hardest yep. part. You yeah. know? All right. Well, thanks for calling. All right. Ex excellent, Chris. Thank right. you very much. No problems. What I do? All right. Take all right. care. You too.